So, as most of you know, I'm a Liverpool fan. I'm, I'm a day ahead of you guys. So I have just finished watching Vincent fucking company <laughs> bosh a 30-yarder into the top corner to for Man City to beat Leicester. I'm, I'm, I, I tweeted out, I'm not, I'm not even mad because I always expected Man City to win the league, like win their remaining games. But I'm not even mad. Like Vincent Company is an absolute fucking legend. And to see him do that was just like, oh my, what are the chances? I don't think he's ever scored from outside the box before. And he rips one. Oh, so yeah, so yeah, that was fun, I guess. Um, and also when you're watching this, so you'll watch this at 7 p.m. Hang on. The day after the champions... Pff, dog hair, dog hair alert. So you'll know... I don't know. You'll know that Liverpool have probably been knocked out of the Champions League um, second leg as well. So, yeah. Bit of a bum end to the season for Liverpool, but it's been fucking incredible. I've loved it. It's been one of my favourite seasons ever as a Liverpool fan. Right. On to the Neat Pro. We are champions. We didn't bottle it, despite a few people in the comments. How dare you doubt me? How dare you? Have you not watched this channel? I never bottle it. Don't go back and look at the old videos. <music> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to the journeyman, and as you can see, we walked it in the end, and I played a few kids for a number of games. Um, after the pre result, we beat Zerka 2-0. I decided, because we got those two good lonely strikers, but our two young strikers, who aren't fantastic at the moment, but they've got lots of potential, I thought, I'm just going to play them, because I was thinking, we might not win all our games, but at least... We should get enough points. We've got that 10-point lead. And uh, so Dorenko scored and Marcos Mahia scored a penalty as well. Then we beat Ruck 3-0. They had a man sent off relatively early. Uh, Dorenko, Kondratenko, they're the two young strikers. And Kogut with the goals. Then we beat bottom of the league, um, Cobra. Yeah, weird game this. They went one. Uh, we went 1-0 up and I was like, yeah. Standard, we're going to smash them. Uh, they're like right second for bottom or bottom of the league. And uh, then we had a man sent off straight red, scissor kick for, you know, co-gut, good stuff, lad. Um, and then we scored and I was like, okay. Because I, f I, f I still felt like with 10 men, we can still beat them. And then it got a bit ropey at the end and they equalised. But then Marcos scored another goal. He actually missed the penalty, but scored the rebound. And then Edgar Sakian our Armenian superstar with a 95th minute goal. In the previous game, Sakyan got two assists for a centre-back. That is decent. Um, then we beat Hunryak 1-0. Lysenko, the right winger, got the goal. And then Volin, we beat them 3-0. Kodratenko, Koga and Kobak, the left mid. And then we drew final game of the season. Uh, Marcus with another penalty and Nazarenko with... His, probably his final appearance for the club. He might come on today and play, but he's the one that's that's leaving us to go to Club Bruges. Um, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, finances are looking better, but still bad. The club have... To be fair to the club, they added another half... They injected another half a million pounds into the club to keep it afloat. Um, we're still almost a million in debt already. It just shows how much this club is pissing away money we've not even gotten any debts we have our budget for next season uh zero as you'd expect but they have up to the wage budget to thirty-five thousand. so we've got a lot of wiggle room and i considered his co-gut who's wanted to leave i thought I'll, I'll just check with him we've got promoted now so i'll check with him see if he wants the new contract and he's like yeah go on then you know what key player i'll have a new contract i want three and a half grand a week and i i was able to offer that to him but then i was like that is so much money and I was like, 35 grand, that's 10% of our entire wage budget. Yes, he's very good. But I'm like, I was thinking to myself, could I replace him with someone similar, but a lot less wages? So I, I walked away from the deal. Um, <clears throat> and then like a week ago, I thought, shall I offer him a new contract? Because he's been at the club a few years. Maybe we need somebody that's been here a while. He was at Denit Pro before. He's been really solid. You know what? I might make him the, the big name player. And then he was like, at that point, he was wanted 
by Lech Poznan in Poland, and he was like, "Nah, I'm not interested." Now there's another team interested, so I was like, "Oh fuck off, then, mate. Go on, get get wrecked." Right, uh, Lysenko's injured, unfortunately. So is Kondratenko. Um, our two youngsters. Oh, so uh, we will see Nazarenko in his final game for the club. Uh, Darenko, like this kid, he's got seven goals in eleven starts. Like he's he's got potential, but he's not very good. So fair play to him. Um, and uh, yeah, a few others. We're going to give the young goalkeeper Billy um, some more game time. We've got two 19 year old centre backs. We've got a 19 year old left back. And uh, yeah, we've got a lot of youngsters. We've got a 19 year old left wing, a 19 year old striker. <clears throat> we've got a 17 year old on the bench. I just can't fit another left back in. So we've given them all a little bit of game time, which is really good news. Like, can we finish the season on a high? It's going to be an absolutely fascinating end to the season. Um, I, I'm going to try and remember to check out Dude Lange after this game, right? Remind me. Um, it's going to be a fascinating summer. Because we've got like 20 grand to spend on wages. But we have no transfer budget at all. So we're going to be relying on freebies. I'm hoping we can get some loanies in. Like I'm hoping like the likes of Shakhtar and stuff will loan to a team in the same division because we do need it. I don't think we, I can just go on free transfers alone. I've picked up a couple of youngsters on free transfers whose contracts are running out. Nothing exceptional, but like they were just like, oh, they only want hey, 50 quid a week. They're like four and a half star potential. Oh, that's decent. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. What a goal that is. Fair play, fair play, minning. Um, yeah, a couple of decent youngsters just to sort of strengthen the squad a little bit. So, but um, <clears throat> now we've been officially promoted, we are champions. Uh, hopefully, a few better players might want to come. It's all going to be about wages. I doubt very much if we're going to see Marcos again next year. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on, boys. Let's end the season on a high. I know they're a decent squad. All right, Koga, Marcus. Look at these two linking up. There we go, Nazarenko. Yeah, he's quite good, Nazarenko. Um, you know, it's sad to see him go. I, it's a, how was that own goal? Was that not on target, that shot? I feel like that was on target. Okay, Marcus plays it in. Nazarenko takes a touch. Oh, it, Okay, yeah, it looked like it was going wide. I thought it was whipped in, but it seemed to catch under his arm and deflect back the other way. Yeah, just to give you an idea of how important Marcus is. Um, yeah, top goal scorer, highest average rating, most assists, best pass completion, most player of the match awards. And he and he's the only things he's not winning are the yellow and red cards. Yeah. He's carried us. And I appreciate it, Marcus. Whatever you want to do in the future, you probably won't want to come to us, but I I respect that decision. Here, there's a chance because we're, we've been promoted, but I think the team is not going to... Because who is he from? Shakhtar. Like, is he going to want to come to us? When's his contract? His contract expires. Oh, no. Christmas. What the fuck is this weird shit? You know, there's there's a chance I could pay his wages. I can't pay. How much is he worth? Two million. Okay, his his value's dropped down. That's good. He's. I think he was worth like. Oh shit! I've skipped on four million quid or something at one stage. So we've made him shitter, which is, you know, bring him down to our level, make him affordable. If we had any money. There's no. I don't think there's any. We don't own any players that we could look to sell to make a wad of cash that we could then reinvest. The couple of good players that we've got, are, both their contracts are running out at the end of the season, so that doesn't really help. We've just got, <sighs> we've just got some good youngsters, and that's about it. Right, whilst this pointless game, I'm calling it pointless because we're losing. Um, I just want to thank. I have a list in, in, of uh, brand new patrons on Patreon, including somebody with a, an amazing username, um, who I'm sure just picked it just so I have to read it out. I appreciate that. Um, thank you to William Parker, Peter Weiberg. I have a sweaty ball sack. That's his, that's his name. That's not me. I would suggest um, 
cancelling your Patreon and then reinvesting in talcum powder. No, just just helping you out. Uh, Jan Sieri, Kian Monaghan, Claudio Mal- Maldonado, Alan Butterworth, Ben Zines upped his pledge, and Jacob McMillan. Thank you very much, guys. You are heroes. I appreciate it. Mathis- can't speak. Can't sp- I can't do these Patreon bits. Thank you very much. Check it out below. Awkward silence. Come on, boys. I want Marcus to score in his in his last game. To be fair, uh, I think maybe like he's had a Pogba season in that Marcus's goal stats look amazing, but I think most of those were penalties. But he's still got to score. He's still got to put him away. Koga, boom. Ah, do I? If if it's possible, do I give him a new contract? I think I will. We've got to keep try and keep some of the good players around. We can't completely rely on a bunch of 18-year-olds. Is that sending off again? It's Koga again, isn't it? It's almost like he doesn't want to be here. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Okay. The Silver's coming on. His last performance for us, he's, his contract's out at the end of the season, and I just don't use him enough to... Because I, I really have no idea what the step up is like between what we've got now and the Ukrainian top league. And is it a case of, like, there's two big teams in Ukraine and everybody else is crap, you know, a la Scotland? Um, <clears throat> or they're all quite good and we're going to really struggle next season. I'm worried that... I've, <laughs> I'm worried that our formation might not be perfectly suited to top division football when we're the underdogs playing a very attacking 4-4-2. But, we, you know, I might start with it and then maybe just drop to a normal 4-4-2. Oh, actually, I might just do a normal 4-4-2. I think it might be the more suitable option. Looks like we're going to pick up a draw. Solid result. They look good. They have scored a couple of very nice goals. <clears throat> Go on, Billy. No, he's not bothered. There we go. <clears throat> we are done. I'm, I'm just I'm happy with it. I'm happy. I'm not going to have a go. Um, they, we've been on, on the piss for the last week, so that's fine. Um, Summy got a playoff spot. Did they continue? They stopped drawing games. They realised that draws aren't that useful. Look, and they actually started picking up points at the end of the season. Another ban. Cheers, buddy. Is he going to... Does he want to... Uh, as a result of interest being, yeah. if he's going to show no loyalty loyalty to me whatsoever, in that as soon as a club sniffs, sends a single scout to watch him, he's like, oh, I want to leave again. Then maybe just he should just you know, just fuck off. Um, we are going to get a new assistant manager at the end of the season. I didn't want to just change everything immediately when we got into the club, but now we're promoted, we could do better, and he's. He's not that great. And he's a bit too starey, isn't he? Like, he's like, Ugh. So uh, we'll be letting him go at the end of the season as well. Um, but, oh, I'm going to miss you, Marcus. Do you love the team? Do you love me? No, it doesn't give a shit. Okay, fair enough, mate. He's been around the blocks, I suppose. Uh, Kogut, does he like, he must like the team. He's been here ages. Doesn't give a shit. Does anyone in this team like the team that they're playing for? What about the youngster, Sakyan? You must, come on, we gave you a big break. There we go. All right, I'm there. And so's that dude. Wow. Gil Budayants. Armin Gil Budayants. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so next season, if we look at contracts running out, lots of the bit part players. That's fine. We get get rid of a bunch of the wages. That's great. Um, the only big ones, obviously, Nazarenko, um, Koguts. Oh, actually, Koguts here for. A, I didn't even realise he's here for another season. Oh, that's that's fine then. Maybe he's the one we could sell to make cash. If we, he's got a two point two million. Is, is it relegation? No, he's got a minimum fee release clause from foreign clubs. Which ex- ex- expires at the end of, at the end of the transfer window, so but that could potentially happen. But we're getting naught percent of the money, so maybe it's best if we don't sell anyone to reinvest because that can't 
logically happen. So what we're going to end up with after all these guys leave is one really good player in Koga who likes ascending off, to be fair, and a metric shit ton of youngsters. That is our entire team next season. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting window, my friends. Let me just, because we're talking about how good this these guys, what the next league up, how, how powerful they are. Um, if we have a look. So obviously Dynamo and Shakhtar are, are the daddies. And it, from the points, it does look like that it is a, oh, this could be quite fun to try and smash the smash into the top two um but it does look like basically two big teams and then the rest if we look somebody at say mid table let's have a look at Vorskla. um just value wise they've got a couple of good players this is 31 and he's worth 4.4 million sweet comb over um 6.75 okay so they have the fuck is he worth 6.75 million Really? He's 30 years old. <laughs> I've got no idea how that guy's worth 6.75 million. That is... Weird. I would not take him on a free for 100 quid a week. I'd be like, nah. Okay. So their team, just put the values are more because obviously they're in the top leagues that players are automatically worth more. The team is better than ours, but it's not drastically different if we look at somebody that's maybe Kapathi who just survived relegation that the relegation fight we've got some low wages here we've got some very low values some, uh, some loanies um yeah nothing nothing exceptional philip defranco we've got it's all right another six million pound player very weird right and then look how old they are us young uns <gasps> That's my team. I, was, I went back to my team. I was going to say, look, they've got an Armenian. Let's sign him and we can have a centre-back partnership. <laughs> no, that's, that's I'm looking at my own team. Right. <laughs> Moving on, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode will, of course, be the transfer special. I'm scared. I'm still scared as to what's going to happen money-wise. We are pissing money away. And unless we get a dramatic increase to our average attendance... Which is pushing yeah, for like 4,000, okay, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. Okay, ju just edging over 3,000. We need to like double that, treble that, to be honest. But we'll find out. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you again to all the new Patreons. You make this possible. I love you all very much. I'll see you next time. You'd all thought I forgot to check out Doodland again, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. That's why I got a different hat on, because it's about two hours later, and I was like, shit, I was supposed to do something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at Doodles. They've got to have won the league. Okay, looks like they have. Remember, they are the only, pro they are the only professional team in Luxembourg. <clears throat> uh, stages, league table... There you go. One game lost all season. 20 points clear. How how much did we win it by? No, we were 15 points clear. And we weren't even pro. Just saying. I'm just saying, right? Let's have a look. <clears throat> we'll have a look at their transfers quickly as well. So, um, they're playing Rangers. Yeah, I didn't check back immediately because I thought, they lost the home leg 2-1 against Rangers. And I thought, okay, they lost the away leg 3-0. That's fair enough. Um, so they went out of Europe relatively early. Did they win the cup? No. Knocked out in the quarterfinals. That's pretty shit. Let's see if they spent money. Oh, they did. Those cheeky little ones, eh? Look, £300,000 spent. Uh, who's the big, who's the big signing? 90 grand on Emmanuel Nittim, who's a solid looking centre back. He looks like he's been forced to smile at gunpoint. Um, and Fanny Ahmanda. All right. Then. Maxime Panisot. 
that's different. <clears throat> actual money. These cost actual money. <laughs> so they sold Jordan off and bought that dude. Okay, whatever, whatever. But they uh, they they stole a few from their rivals. Jesus, there's some crap players. Bloody hell. Cheung Chun Yu. Luxembourg. Obvious. You can tell by his name. He's a, he's a local lad. Um, so they they got a bunch of players. Uh, nothing is exceptional. Okay, hang on. Somebody from Anderlecht. There we go. That's a bit more like it. He's decent. Um, who was their top goal scorer? Huh. Bendik Bai. <laughs> Such a good name. Such a good smug little twat. Uh, Irvin Taha. No big goal scorers. Oof. Oof. I, would, I would argue there's Terps. I would argue they've not really strengthened that much. They bought a bunch of players. The AI, I like to have, as you know, a little tiny small team. Um, but the AI always loves a big water team and stuff. Mario Poker. Wow, didn't get all the games. He's, he's getting on a bit. Maybe they think he's past it. His physicals have gone, but everything else is still amazing. I, he'd still be in my first team. You, still playing in goal. 7.4 7 the last five games for a goalkeeper. 7.07 .07 average. What is this magic? Where are they playing him? Left back? <clears throat> right. You just think they'd show the role, wouldn't you? I don't know if he was playing as a, a sweeper-keeper or something. A seven average in 35 games. How's the Thills doing? We've got Crap Thill. Didn't get a game. That's fair enough. He was... Oh, crap Thill, wasn't he? Coolio. Barely got a game. Wrecking my team, man. They're wrecking my team. Who played the most? You. And then Bozniak. There's uh, the legend. Had a... Okay season. Mm -mm -mm. But not a bad little team. I'm just disappointed that they haven't really improved that much. Because old Hunterlar's in charge. Oh, was it? A wasn't Hunterlar. Am I thinking of a completely different? No, it was Hunterlar took charge, wasn't it? Oh, God, I've got to remember how to spell his name. Hunter. It's like, it's like, isn't it? Hunt. Oh, shit, how do you spell his name? I can't even remember his first name. How do I look at the history of football manager? History managers, that probably. Oh, he left after 210 days. Does he get a bit... Fucking hell, look at that. Straight off. Straight off. First chance he could get, he, he fucked off. You know, it's his homeland, I suppose. It was Huntella. That's it. He's not, he's not a very good manager, to be fair. Who's this new booth? Serge, Serge Wolf. It's a good name. Good man of management. Okay, fair enough. So they're doing as as expected. Walk in the league as expected. But the transfers worry me a little bit. We'll keep an eye on them. Right, there we go. We're all caught up. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.